Dozens of local restaurants have high hopes about welcoming diners soon on a limited basis, but it's going to be tougher than many may have thought. Today, the governor did announce strict new criteria that must be met before diners are seated, and that has one local restaurateur saying enough is enough. We cannot afford this shutout any longer. We need to open up now. Lewis Everick owns five restaurants, four in Fresno, one in Clovis, including Vixen at Fryant in Fort Washington. Two are offering takeout and he says barely breaking even. He's got masks for his staff, cases of sanitizer, and is ready to reopen for dine-in. But like many restaurant owners, he says his hands are tied. But we are accumulating day by day, month by month, week by week, more and more debt. California is beginning phase two of the state's reopening plan. Designated low-risk retailers and manufacturers may now open with curbside pickup. But the next phase of reopenings for restaurants and bars, hair salons and barber shops comes with much stricter requirements for counties. A COVID testing level of 150 tests per 100,000 residents, that's about 1,500 tests a day for Fresno County. 15 contact tracers per 100,000 residents. And one more requirement that Fresno County admits is problematic. And the one that really jumps out at me is the no COVID related deaths in the past 14 days. Um, that is a very uh, high bar to, to meet. A high bar to meet and no designated timeline. The county says it's working hard and fast to meet those requirements. To open up and we really want to help them get there. The question is, will the county get there fast enough? I feel we've done our part. It's time for the city of Fresno and the county of Fresno to do their part to get us back to work.